In 1907, a young Italian doctor opened a nursery in one of Rome's worst slums for children who supposedly could not be educated. Very soon, the older children were helping to take care of the school and look after the younger ones. They were transformed from disadvantaged children with a bleak future into independent and self-confident children with a chance for a better life. Maria Montessori had pioneered an approach to education that focused on a child's natural desire and capacity to learn. She recognised that given the right environment and materials and under the guidance of a watchful, caring teacher, the child's full potential could be realised. A century on, and her message, her insights, and the practical strategies she's passed on have influenced hundreds of thousands of children around the world. Maria Montessori said, The greatest sign of success for a teacher is to be able to say, The children are now working as if I did not exist. For me this has special meaning. Being a Montessori teacher, I've seen the independence and capability that this gives children. And when I had my own children, it was so important to instill in them the self-respect and the confidence that Montessori gives them. What makes the Montessori approach so effective is that it's based on a deep understanding of how children learn and develop through making their own choices, trying things out and doing things for themselves. The best thing about Montessori is, is its applicability. Uh, regardless of whether you're using the method in a state school or a private school, a large or a small, a rural or an urban environment, and anywhere in the world you're going to find people doing the same thing in the same way, with the same commitment and same beliefs, it's quite amazing. Montessori is a way of life as much as it's a way of education and it doesn't just start when the child is old enough to go to nursery school. It's really from birth to six the child is born with a potential and the potential is enormous and what we as adults or parents or carers have to do is to provide an environment which will allow the potential to unfold and the environment has to be stimulating and in the very early stages needs to be very tactile and offer lots of opportunities for movement because the child learns through activity, the ch child learns by doing. Many Montessori schools have toddler classes for children between 18 months and 3 years. The toddler classroom is simpler and slower paced than the older classrooms and the child has the time and space she needs to learn how to do things for herself. Soon, what is it becomes, what can I do with it? When children come into the environment and you introduce activities to them, when they then return to an activity and you watch them repeat an, that thing over and over again, the enjoyment that they get from it and the discovery you can see in their faces. Maria Montessori's insights and approach to child development have had a great influence on education practice throughout the world. The meticulously prepared environment, the carefully designed learning materials, child-sized furniture and equipment suited to the size of a child's hand are all characteristics of the Montessori approach. Extended periods of learning allow the child uninterrupted time to master simple and practical skills in preparation for progressing to more advanced activities. The role of the teacher as a guide rather than instructor allows the child to choose and explore in an orderly environment at their own pace driven by the desire to learn and experience. Many characteristics that have been present in Montessori schools for a hundred years have since become commonplace in mainstream classrooms throughout the world. I trained to be a teacher in the 1960s, quite a long time ago now, and um, uh, yes, in, in many ways it was different from the sort of teaching that I'm doing now, but in many ways it was similar because I realised that uh, a lot of Montessori principles were there, um, it, sort of rather intrinsically um, part of the training that I had at that time. Today's Montessori classroom is based on Maria Montessori's original Casa dei Bambini, or Children's House. It's an environment of calm concentration where you'll find children totally absorbed in activities they've chosen themselves. I was immediately attracted, I felt immediately like this was a good environment, the, really the perfect environment for my children to blossom and, um, and grow. And to find their own paths and what they wanted to do and yes, exactly. freedom of choice within the classroom. Exactly. 
Children in a Montessori classroom have the freedom to make their own choices from those activities that are within their ability. But discipline, particularly self-discipline, is key to the Montessori approach. You choose to do what you wish to do, but you understand that um, what you choose to do, you're also responsible for, for your decisions, basically. So you deal with the consequences. And I think it's really important to have um, lessons about responsibility like that at that age because it really sets you up for the rest of your life. The Montessori experience begins from the moment the children arrive in the morning. Um, the children come in and they're greeted by the teachers. They're given the freedom to go and explore things that they want to do. The mixed age grouping in a Montessori classroom plays a huge part in making the learning environment so successful. Older children love to share their knowledge and are great role models for the younger ones who want to emulate their achievements. Maria Montessori believed that competition in education should only be introduced after the child has gained confidence in using basic skills. This means a child's progress is never compared to the achievements of another child. Never let a child risk failure, she said, until he has a reasonable chance of success. You don't judge anyone for what level they're at, you just judge them for how hard they're working and what they're doing there. The Montessori method is based on the child's need to learn by doing. When a child is doing something with her hands, she'll concentrate her attention. And concentration is key to learning. Montessori materials are designed with this in mind. They're carefully sequenced so that each activity has a logical process to follow and they introduce concepts that become increasingly complex as the child progresses. The materials are designed to help children understand where they may have gone wrong and to enable them to work out ways to correct themselves without being told how to do so. In a Montessori classroom, children are free to work where best suited to the activity. At a table, on the floor, making use of the full space of the classroom. Likewise, the teacher isn't rooted to one spot, but rather she goes where her attention is most needed, either presenting a new activity, giving gentle encouragement, or observing a child's progress. The classroom is designed to cover specific core areas of learning, practical life, sensorial, language and literacy, mathematics, cultural, and creative. And bringing the indoors outdoors gives the child an even wider range of experiences. There's a growing demand for Montessori schools to extend into primary education, making possible a natural flow from the foundation years right up to the transition to a secondary school. They've learned so much, done so much, and then they can just carry on with what they know. We're already following the child. We observe the child, we don't teach anything without knowing the child, without knowing where they're up to, where their talents lie, where their desires lie, and all the way through, we nurture that, we follow that. Their time in the nursery is really important. That's where they learn independent work. They carry this on here in the elementary school because they need to be able to choose their work and know what they want to do for themselves. That's how we get the best out of them. We have the same respect for the child. So if we give them that same respect, they do the work when they want to do, have a drink when they want to have a drink, we'll get the best out of them.